us an uh, overview regarding what uh, Qualcomm is doing in augmented reality. Please. Sure. So let's talk a little bit about what mobile augmented reality is. I think most folks understand mobile augmented reality is pointing your device down the street and you look for the nearest Starbucks and maybe the icon for the Starbucks appears kind of next to Burger King. So that's been a mapping kind of application, and that's been using the compass and GPS to do augmented reality. What Qualcomm is doing is vision-based augmented reality. And with vision-based augmented reality, we actually recognize certain images or objects in our environment. And when the, the camera recognizes those images, we're able to put 3D content and 3D experiences directly on top of them. So let me show you an example of, of what this looks like. I'm going to show you a game right here. And this game has been developed with Qualcomm's Augmented Reality SDK. And what it does is it allows me to use this image as a basketball backboard. So you'll see as I point my device here, I can now see a scoreboard and a basketball hoop. And let me go ahead and start the game. Let me see my, where my basketballs are. I'll say play. And it says go. And so now I can shoot basketballs and I can go to any angle and shoot. So what this shows is with gaming, my game environment becomes anchored in the real world and I can use the device to change my perspective and play. So let me show you another example. This is a game that's called Paparazzi. And in this game, we are actually a paparazzi. This is our camera and we're trying to take pictures of this celebrity that's going to appear right here. So you can see our little celebrity down there, and you can see if I get up close, I can take a picture of him. And I got $61 because I got a close-up. And depending on where I go, I can get more money for my shot. So 160 Now what happens is, as I do this, I make him a little agitated. So you'll see, if I come up close and I get a close-up of him, wow, he's going to get mad, and he'll actually try and jump up on my camera. So now... You know, he's hanging from my camera, and I have to try and get him off. So, so you can see AR is very fun for gaming. It kind of brings a new element to gaming. We also think AR is important as a new form of interactive media. So this allows marketers to create an interactive 3D experience, not on top of a basketball backboard, but maybe on top of their product. So this could be a cereal box, or this could be an ad in a magazine, and now you can have an interactive 3D experience on top of it. And there's another area for AR applications that we think is interesting, and that's more for education or instructional use. So you can think about this device as like a see-through user manual. So maybe I point this at an appliance, or my telephone, or my washing machine, and as I point this at the front of the machine, it recognizes it and puts instructions on top to show me how to use it, or how to put it together, or maybe repair it. So all of these kinds of applications use this vision-based augmented reality. And what Qualcomm has done is created this SDK for Android developers. Um, we've had it available since October of last year and now have over 4,000 registered developers. Uh, are you planning to uh, export this uh, SDK into another platform like an uh, uh, iPhone, for example, or Windows Phone 7 or any other? You know, we will port it to other platforms. At this point, we just have Android and have yet to announce timeframes for other platforms, but they will come.